next equation that we have is 4x minus y equals 7 minus 4y. Now, the big difference in this uh, equation is that we have the variable y on both sides, and that happens to be the variable that we want to isolate. We want to solve for y. So, I like to start by defining where am I going to leave my y, which is the side that the y is going to remain, and I will isolate from there. In this case, I usually like to prefer to pick the left side, so I'm going to leave the y here. And I will say, this is my goal. I need to isolate y being on this side. So the first thing that I notice is that I have y's on the other side. I have a negative 4y. So the first thing that I will do is, this y doesn't belong here, I'm going to cancel it. Now, how do I cancel a negative 4y with a positive? Remember, we are not trying to cancel the 4, therefore we will not divide. We need to cancel negative 4y, therefore we need to add 4y. Don't forget that what you do to one side, we need to do to the other. And what we will have now is this 4y's are going to cancel. And all that we have here is the 7. And now, look what happens here. We have a negative y plus 4y. So don't forget that there's an invisible 1 here. This means negative 1y. So negative 1y plus 4y will give me 3y. And I still have my 4, so don't forget this is positive. And I still have my 4x. So, the next thing that I will have to do will be cancel my 4x. Again, we don't want to separate the, the coefficient from the letter. That's why we have to do the opposite, which in this case will be subtract. What I do to one side, I do to the other. This two will cancel. But what I will have left is 3y equals negative 4x. These are unlike terms. Plus 7. Now we're almost done. The only number that we need to cancel now to isolate y will be the 3. Don't forget that the 3 being the coefficient is multiplying your y. So for you to do the inverse operation, that would be divide by 3. And everything on the other side will have to be divided by 3. What would leave us with this right here, negative 4x over 3. Now, we cannot make this division, so we will leave it as a fraction. It will be negative 4 over 3, and we drop the x, plus, and again, we cannot make this division, so we just leave it as a fraction, 7 over 3. This right here will be your final answer.